Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, July the 2nd, 2018, and this is episode 2803. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to a brand new week of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, The Three R's. Stay tuned. think about when you hear me say the three R's? Well, if you're old school, you might be thinking about something from school, like reading, writing, arithmetic. Yeah, I know reading starts with R, but writing starts with a W, and arithmetic starts with an A. But they had this thing called the three R's, reading and writing and arithmetic. Some of you even remember that song. There's a lot of other interesting things. If you do a Google search for the three R's, you're going to find a lot of, a lot of things. Like for instance, one of the prominent things you'll see has to do with uh, the environment. Uh, it is called reduce, reuse, and recycle. And there are a lot of others that are out there as well. For instance, uh, reminder, routine, reward, um, there's one that I thought that was quite interesting, respect, responsibility, and resilience, respect for yourself, respect for others, responsibility for all your actions. And so you'll find a lot of three R's, uh, as you Google that, but I want to share with you three R's from the book of revelation. I'm reading through the book of revelation. I'm going to share today with you something from uh, chapter two, although today I just finished reading chapter five. Listen to what God had to say to a church, the church of Ephesus. He said in chapter two, verse one, these things says he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not and have found them liars and you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Sounds good, doesn't it? Amen. But listen to verse four. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So this is a letter that John penned to the church at Ephesus. And the issue was they left their first love. Now, when you read all the good things that they did, you know, they, uh, uh, they worked hard, they labored, they were patient, they didn't put up with uh, evil, they tested uh, false prophets, they found them liars, they had perseverance, they had patience, they labored for his name's sake, didn't become weary. And you'd think, you know, with all of those things, that would be a re really good thing. But when God said, nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love, one of the first thoughts that came to me is, you know, you can do a lot of religious stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can keep yourself busy in church, but why are you doing it? Have you left your first love? Now, when you started, you did it because you loved Jesus and you wanted people to come to know Jesus. And sometimes I think we can get into a rut and we've lost our first love. And we could talk a lot more about that, but here's the remedy. Verse five, remember, therefore, from whence you have fallen, that's the first star, Repent, that's the second, and do the first works. I take a little bit of license here, and I'm going to use the word repeat. Do the first works, or repeat what you used to do and why you used to do it. Remember, therefore, from where you are fallen. Remember the passion that you had for Christ when you first became a Christ follower. 
Remember the burden, the broken heart that you had. Remember the excitement that you had, the love for scripture. Remember, remember, and then repent. The word repent simply means to change your mind. It's the Greek word metaneo, to change your mind. Change your mind about what you think is important now and go back to what you knew was important then in the beginning. And then repeat, do the first works. Go back to some of the original spiritual disciplines you had in your early Christian life. Those things that watered you and fertilized you and caused you to grow so dynamically in Christ. So that's the three R's for you today. Remember, repent, and repeat. I don't know if you feel like you've lost your first love or maybe your passion is waning, but if so, this could be a good word for you today. Father, thank you so much for your patience and mercy with me over these many years that I've known you. So many times, Father, I've had to take this admonition personally myself and to go back and remember and then to repent, to change my mind about the things that I've made priorities in my life and then to repeat and do those simple things, those simple disciplines that grow my faith and make me strong in you. Help us today, Father, to do this exercise for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening today. Pray that you have a great start to your week. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.